So I should probably do a little intro for this video. Basically, I was doing my bearing project, and I wanted to share a little bit of highlights with the people that are in my one wheel group and let them know that I have lots of uh, lots of tools and we can do this at my place. I don't have a press, so that's a drawback because a press would make it just a little bit easier, although the vise doubles as a press for one half of it. The vise doesn't get big enough to do the inset part of the actual wheel when you're putting the bearing in from the inside of the wheel. Uh, the removable side, the flat side, you can do no problem. You'll see that in the video. I didn't go into detail too much. I just basically was excited about the fact that my one wheel is not going to make much noise anymore. So that's a good thing. The other thing is that uh, I could definitely illustrate with the oil that just seeped through the bearings when I put it on there that you guys riding it in water without waterproofing of any sort on your bearings it's just asking for trouble and basically what happened with me was I rode it one time uh, for I don't know an hour or two we were trying out the badger wheel sock the badger sock sockison and we got lots of water on the one wheel snow that turned into water and then it melted into the bearings and then the next day when I went to go get on it the wheel was seized up it, it got so much rust in there like I had to push it to get it loose so once I pushed it to get it loose uh, it's been running ever since, but it's noisy. Everybody, I ride it at work on the carpet, so it's super quiet and stealthy, or it used to be. After that day, not so much. And it clunk, 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 clunk every time the wheel would go around. So there was a bearing in there with a flat spot on it. Yeah, so I needed to do this. I didn't have to do it right now. My bearings didn't have a lot of play in them when I took them out, but they were definitely rusty inside internally, which means that water leaked in. Then I put oil in there and the oil came all the way through to the inside of the wheel, which I'll show you. So you guys will see uh, exactly what the effects of riding in water are and you will see how to fix it. So enjoy, I'll talk to you soon, bye. Putting some ceramics on my one wheel, but the problem is I gotta figure out how to hold this. I'll probably put it in the vise somehow to push that bearing out. But what I wanted to show you guys was this. This bearing, it's got rust on it. I don't know if you can see that in the light. Yeah, there's rust. You can see where water, or maybe the oil that I ran through the bearing to try to get it to quiet down, ran through and ran the rust out of the bearing. But these are factory future motion bearings. And let me get out in the sun. They're not amazing whatever they are. So, there's the stock number. Yeah. Um, not impressed with the waterproofness of the stock bearings. I'm gonna have to clean that out inside and get the new bearing pressed in. But, check this out. If you can hear that, it's noisy. It shouldn't make any noise. Yeah, not good. Okay. New ceramic bearing on there. And you can see that the new ceramic bearing from Burris is quiet and spins freely. The other one did not. At least not that freely. So I'm excited about that. Super quiet. go super quiet can't even hear it moving now to try to put this back on without messing up the o-ring all right the other o-ring on the other side i was super careful and put a little bit of oil on it that seemed to help so wish me luck on this side okay but it's so much quieter, I love it. Here, check it out. The 
Feels better. Thumbs up. Two and a half hours from getting my tools out, putting my tools away, cleaning up. So, thumbs up for the Burris ceramic bearings. We'll see if the seals are better. I hope so. I'm going to be doing the uh, Badger Wheel waterproofing kit for the bearings really soon. So, stay tuned for that. I'll try to video it everybody's interested. If so, say in the comments, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.